What up, bitch? Your for the sake hashtag games. Before I start this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, stay up to date with all my motherfucking videos. Follow me on Instagram and Auburn Fitness. Follow my band, Divided Dimension, on Spotify. Yeah, so today's gonna be a honest reviews video where I review a product and I give my motherfucking honest opinion on it. What? Got some sideways almond milk action. Guys, Lions pack all the fucking flavors. Well, most of the flavors. So this video might be a little long, but I'm gonna go over all the fucking flavors. All right, I ain't gonna lie. I opened up a couple of them and try it out, but I did not try all of them yet. So, I don't even know how the fuck I'm gonna do a thumbnail. I'll just uh, let's grab them all. I got like 11 of these bitches in here. Fuck it. Let's get some half ass. Get the bag out of the way. It ruins the screenshot. Here, I'll do three and three. Even though I got way fucking more. Yeah, fuck it. You know what? I'm gonna do two. I can't fucking do all this shit. Thumbnail time. Yeah, give me crazy eyes. Alright, so. I literally have 11 flavors. This is their new recipe. This is the new formula. Talk about the product a little bit. Um, this is edible cookie dough. Right? Um, this is now bakeable as well. So they redid it. Now it's bakeable, right? So 100 calories, 2 tablespoons, 3.5 fat, 14 carbs, 4 fiber, 4 sugar, 4 grams of protein. It's pretty consistent. I mean, give or take a couple grams here and there. But they pretty much have the same consistency as far as the macros. It's getting a little hot out. Yeah, get some roll down window action. Um, so it's made with heat treated wheat flour. That's the that's the main change in the the recipe uh, Tapioca fiber syrup plant protein rice and pea Sunflower and canola oil cookies and cream chunks for this one sugar palm oil cocoa dextrose sodium bicarbonate salt natural flavor soy lecithin stevia monk food extract Turbian terminado sugar the fuck is that tapioca starch natural flavor sea salt Bake pre-oven, roll as desired, cookie dough into a ball, flatten out into a cookie sheet, or bake for 10 to 12 minutes, and then let it cool down and before taking off the pan. Enjoy a crispy cookie treat. Says for best taste, enjoy within the next within 30 days of room temperature after opening or up to 60 days as refrigerated. Um, price point, you can get a four pack for $44.99. And let's face it, if you ever went to Instagram and Lion's Choice, they have a fuckload of sales. They literally have a sale every fucking time you go on there. You can always get a 20% off coupon code. So you can get these bitches down to like $9 a piece. And they are 10 ounces per jar. You can pretty much get these down to $9. They're $11.99 on their website, but you can get them down cheaper if you just look on Instagram every now and then, they'll do a sale. It's free shipping after $25. No coupon code necessary. And more than likely, if you're going to buy this shit, you're not going to buy just one fucking jar. You're going to buy a couple jars. I think the four pack's probably the best value because then you can get a four pack for $44.99 plus free shipping plus the 20% off coupon code. You can pretty much get them for around $9. That's the price point. Sometimes there's better sales. Sometimes there's worse sales. I do have 11 fucking flavors here. Um, the new recipe is supposed to be better and fluffier and shit like that. So first, before I even get into that, I microwaved two cookies just to see what the fuck happened. And I got a spoon here. So this is the chocolate chip cookie one. And this is the donut. I just kind of wanted to see what would happen if I happened to want to bake them instead of eat them as regular cookie dough. So this is a cookie. And this is the chocolate donut one. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So the cookie, it's a nice like crispy, crunchy cookie. Pretty damn good. It kind of like just crumbles and kind of like 
dissipates real quickly. It's almost like a... Uh, it's a special type of cookie I can't think of. It reminds me a lot of that. Man, what kind of cookie is that? Where you bite it and it just crumbles? A crumb cookie or something? I can't think of what, what the fuck I'm trying to say. But it's very crunchy. Not bad. Pretty good. So, I'm sure they would turn out better. Right? I'm sure it would turn out better if you fucking, uh, if you, if you use the oven. I didn't. I only microwaved it, and it only took like 30 to 40 seconds, and they kind of just, you could tell that they were getting done, so I just cut it off. Hey, they're a nice little treat for cookies. So, let's get into raw cookie dough and what it looks like. I'm going to have to do a little sample of each one because literally I'm going to have a meal out of this. So this is the consistency. Yeah, look at that. So here it is. Cookies and cream. Mm. It's very smooth. Very creamy. Cookies and cream. Man, that's fucking good. Um, oh, before I get any further, somebody, I don't know who, maybe more than one, but some subscribers told Lion's Pack, or Lion's Choice, that, uh, was it the Lion's Pack? I thought it was Lion's Choice. Somebody told the Lion's Choice that I sent them to their website to buy shit after, after my review. So they were like, hey, for appreciation, since you sent us traffic, here's a 40% off coupon code one time only. I was like, fuck yeah, that's badass, right? So this is this is why I bought so many, because it was only a one-time offer. So I was like, fuck it, I might as well buy everything possible and get a 40% off coupon code. So thank you for whoever fucking said that. And hopefully more people buy shit and more I get more coupon codes. Because, hey, if I can get it for cheaper, I'll fucking get it for cheaper. You know what I'm saying? So, I appreciate whoever the fuck sent, um, whoever the fuck sent, whoever put it in the comments when they, like, purchased something, they say, like, Opperman Fitness sent me here, or Jerry Opperman, or something, I don't fucking know. All I know is I got a, I got a, uh, a coupon code in the mail, and they were like, hey, by the way, such and such sent, sent us here. Anyways, and they're like, hey, for fair appreciation, here's a coupon code, and I was like, that's badass. So, this is the Oreos, Reese's Oreo pieces. This was cookies and cream. I'm going to give you my ratings after I go through each flavor. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. I'm getting fucking, man, I'm getting excited. Look at that. Yeah. Man, these are really good. Mmm. It's got a perfect Reese's. It's got a perfect Reese's taste with Oreos. That one's amazing. Lemon poppy seed. That I definitely fucked this one up already. Look at this. This one's really good. Same consistency on everything. Oh yeah. Nice lemon taste. All right. Definitely haven't tried this one. Oreo cake batter. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So this recipe is definitely better than the, the last one. Hmm. I will say this. Their old recipe from, like, a while ago was probably their best as far as, like, consistency. This is more, like, creamy and, like, frosting texture. It's not like a dough. It's not like a full dough. It's like a frosting creamy texture. I still think it's really good, but I don't think it's as good as the, like, the OG formula from, like, a while ago. Yeah. Birthday cake? Mmm. Fucking delicious. 
Got like a super sweet birthday cake taste. Golden Oreo. Yeah. Golden Oreo action. Same consistency on everything. Yep. It's not a dough. It's more of like a frosting, creamy texture. All right, guys. Peanut butter cup. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, it's a nice chocolatey, nice chocolatey cookie dough taste. Not much peanut butter. Chocolate donut. This is the one that I used to make that uh, cookie. This one, I tried this one already. It's pretty much, it immediately melts in your mouth. It's not like a dough. It's literally not a dough. I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying. It's also got a nice, sweet, like, creamy taste on all of them. This is the Biscoff Cookie Butter Cookie Dough. I did try this one. This one's really good, too. It's even got, like, little pieces of cookie, cookie bites. Oh, yeah. If you like cookie butter, you're going to fucking love this one. All these are really fucking good. You know what? <clears throat> Commercial break. Ah, it's so good. Almond milk, unsweetened, vanilla. While eating this out of the jar, I can't think of a better fucking combo, to be honest with you. Can't think of a fucking better one. Oh, man. Banana chocolate chip. Look at that. Yep. Oh, yeah. Mmm. So good. I'm gonna be honest with you. All these are fucking amazing. They're all really good. But they're not a dough. They're more like a frosting, creamy texture. So if you're expecting a dough, you're not going to get that texture with this one. They do make decent cookies. They do taste really good out of the jar. But the only thing I can say is that they're not really a dough consistency. Um, so do I like the new formula? Yes. Do I like it better than some of the other ones? They've went through so many different formulas when I tried them. The last formula was not, no, was not that greatest. This formula is better, but not as good as the OG one that I liked when I first fucking discovered um, the Lion's Choice. So, as far as price point, $9. I feel like within this market, that's kind of actually not that bad because there's a lot of companies that are making like kind of like similar products like this and they're pretty much in the same category, you know? They're like $11, $12, um, stuff like that. So, if you can get a coupon code and get it down to 9 it's not that bad. At the same time, this is more of like a luxury item. I, don't, I can't see myself buying this every fucking week, right? I mean, this would cost me a fucking fortune. Um, literally when I placed this order, I got every fucking flavor. So I, I took advantage of everything I could. Um, but I can't see myself buying this shit on a regular. It's more of like every now and then, hey, I'm going to make a special order and treat myself to some fucking cookie, cookie dough shit. So as far as flavor, honestly, all of them are fucking amazing. I would honestly probably say 9.5 for everything. Keep in mind... I'm sure if you're a peanut butter fan, you're going to like the peanut butter one over the poppy seed. you right. Where the fuck's the poppy seed? You're going to probably like, if you're a lemon fan and you don't like peanut butter, you're probably going to like the lemon one over the peanut butter. But I think they're all very consistent with being really fucking good. So I'm going to give 9.5s for all the flavors. There was no bad fucking flavor. They literally all taste great. And I actually like all the flavors anyways. So... You know, even though I might like peanut butter or, or Oreo cake batter better than, than lemon poppy seed, I still think that lemon poppy seed is just as fucking good. I'm just more of a fan of the other certain flavors. So, take it for what it is. 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't think there's anything else more to say. Um, give this video a fucking thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. I really appreciate it. Um, and share my videos. Do whatever the fuck you want. Um, but I really do appreciate everyone that supports this channel. Really do appreciate it. This is shit I was going to buy anyway. So the, all I got to do is push record and fucking give my honest thoughts on it. And that's what I fucking did. And now I'm going to fucking eat this shit and enjoy it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for the support as always. Let me know what you want to see next. If you don't like to fucking bad, subscribe, share, like, and comment below. Scroll, but don't troll. Or don't hate me because I'm fucking swole. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Opera Fitness, Facebook Opera Fitness, Snapchat Opera Fitness, Instagram Opera Fitness. Don't forget to like my band page, Divide Dimension on Facebook. Follow my band, Divide Dimension on Spotify. Shop over something needs at TigerFitness.com using my fill link, which will be in the description box below. If you guys happen to want to buy this shit, go to the Lion's Choice Instagram or the Lion'sChoice.com or type it in on Google. It'll come right up. And if you guys happen to do buy this shit, um, just say that I sent you there. Maybe they'll give me another coupon code. Maybe they won't, but I do appreciate if, if someone does buy it and they just want to happen to mention my name, in my review, maybe they'll fucking see it and they'll talk about it and maybe give me more. Maybe they'll send me free shit. Hey, I'll take any fucking thing. So if they give me a better coupon code, that'd be badass for myself. So maybe they'll give me a 50% coupon code. Maybe they'll give me free shit. I don't know. But if you do happen to buy it, mention my name. I'd appreciate it. If not, no fucking big deal. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will check you guys later. Hey. So, as I was finishing up the video, I literally fucking dropped this on the floorboard. This is this chocolate chip cookie. This is the OG. So, I don't even know if I reviewed this as I was talking. So, I'm going to go ahead and give this just a taste real quick. It's good. I mean, it's a 9.5 easily. It's really good. This is the OG, so I had to get this shit on flame. This is the OG chocolate chip. It's really good, like I said, but it's not a fucking dough. It's more of a frosting. It's more of a frosting, creamy consistency. Um, also, the way it makes cookies. If you guys like crunchy cookies like that, you guys might also be a fan of that. So, um, I think it's better as a... I, I think it's really good as a dough or whatever, eating it out of the thing. But it's also good as a crunchy cookie, you know, switch it up. I don't think it loses its flavor or, like, my liking of it. I think it's good both ways, so. Um, but, yeah, just wanted to mention that. Other than that, I will check you guys later. Yay. Yeah.